Angela, hello. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome to another Felici Friday, Facebook Friday. How is everybody doing? Did you guys have a good week? Um, yeah, it's been a pretty exciting week around here. You can see I've got my Elma Panther sweatshirt on. Hi, Philomena. Good morning. How are you doing? Hi, Nikki. Thank you, guys. I know I was kind of this morning kind of got away from me, so I apologize. I know I'm starting a couple minutes late, so thank you guys for hanging in there. Uh, yeah, hi, Nikki. Good morning. Good morning. Um, so yeah, I was saying it's been an exciting week. I've got my Elma Panther sweatshirt on here. It's one of those. I always am like, what am I going to wear for this next Facebook? Friday so today was like kind of a no-brainer because so last night um, the varsity Alma Panther varsity basketball team won their second regional I have to like get the lingo straight their second regional playoff game hi Lori good morning I'm glad you can be here with us um, so anyway it was awesome there were a ton of people there is this like just amazing crowd amazing energy and they they beat like a, a good team they they played last night and earlier this week they played also in their other regional game and they obviously won that one to make it to last night too hi Karen um, but they this team is just playing so well right now so Kate is a sophomore got moved up from JV to varsity so he sits on the bench and watches the game which is kind of a new thing for him he's used to you know being able to participate and play quite a bit um, so you know he didn't get to play in either of these games which I totally understand because um, he doesn't even you know he knows a couple of the plays but not like the other kids do so hi Tammy good morning um, so anyway yeah it's just been an awesome experience for him just to be a part of things and you know we feel like this amazing a part of things as well and they are moving on thank you for the share they are moving on to the quarterfinals game is next week and it's actually just in Mount Pleasant which is just up the road here so we don't have to travel very far which we are super thankful for and actually the regional games just happen to be here in Alma which usually you have to travel all over the place like it was a team from Flint that came um, and played against us and then a team from Saginaw I think was on uh, Tuesday so anyway it's just been an awesome week basketball I, I love basketball so it's just fun to watch and be a part of so yeah, let's see what else. Oh, going away for another dance competition this weekend. Um, it's already like, oh my gosh, almost the end of the dance competition season um, this weekend and then next weekend also. And then Lily's all done with the competition dancing. They still do lots of other community events and, you know, lots of practicing around town. Uh, well, or, you know, at the studio. Oops, I'm like flipping things. Um, so anyway, yeah, lots of good stuff. Thank you guys, like I said, for the shares. Um, so okay, I've kind of chatted a little bit. I always like to do that to kind of wait to get people on here. So I think let's go ahead. We're going to do our first drawing. We are going to jump right in. So you guys, I have that, um, <clears throat> the Precious Parcel Card Kit. If you can see, I love all these such pretty kind of vintage, the flowers, the beautiful flowers. I love the little paper clips in there too. If you guys can see, there's some twine and some little bitty paper clips and then those cute, almost like airmail envelopes with the fun stripes around them too. So anyway, this is what we are giving away this week, uh, today, obviously. One entry for commenting on the Facebook Live video. Anytime between now and next Thursday, your name will go in the drawing for the next drawing. So comments, three entries if you share the Facebook Live video here. And then I also put it over onto the Facebook business page. So if you comment or share over there, I grab those um, comments and shares and they go in the drawing also. Then if you sign up for my email list, if you're not already an email subscriber, uh, go ahead and do that and you get three entries into the drawing. And then lastly, what did I pick? My random day was Tuesday. So any post that I did on Tuesday, if you commented or shared, you get three entries into the drawing um, for any post on Tuesday. And then as well, if you posted a picture of something you've made on Tuesday, you got three more entries in the drawing to win the Precious Parcel Card Kit. Hi, Lori. I see you. So good to have you here. Um, okay, so lots and lots of entries in the drawing. We are shaking these babies around. And let's see, let me make sure. They're pretty well shaken, I'd say. Okay, I've got one entry in my hand, and it goes to Miss Karen Birch. Can you guys see? I can kind of see that there. So congratulations, Karen. You are the proud winner, the owner of the Precious Parcel Card Kit. So I will have this down for you at the studio. Hi, Tiffany. How are you? I'm glad you can join us as well. 
We just did our first drawing. I'm going to dump all those names out. Sorry, I have to, you know me, i got to stay organized here. Okay, so do you guys want to know, what are we giving away? Where's my... What are, oh, here it is, right here in front of my face. We are, so this week, for the comments and the shares and posting your projects, your name is going to go in the drawing to win. This is the Grapefruit Grove, the celebration ribbon that is sold out. You're welcome, Karen. <laughs> Yay. I'm so glad you're on to know. I, that's so fun when whoever's name is drawn is actually on the live with us that week. So yeah, congratulations. And you guys are all very gracious, too, for the congratulations to Karen that's very sweet lots and lots of names go in that drawing so you never know um, the more you comment and share the better your chances are of winning and you guys this ribbon so I knew it was like kind of a blink of an eye I almost feel funny when I say because this was this is part of the um, celebration the ribbon combo pack that came in those five different colors so it was um, sold out for a while kind of on back order not even available to order and it became available to order and I'm gonna get my days wrong but yeah it was just like on March 4th so this week right so and it's already sold out again the whole you know the combo pack of all five colors of ribbon I happen to have this extra bolt of ribbon that I thought you know what I want to get it to one of you all so maybe you might be the lucky winner of the ribbon next week and what I was saying was I felt kind of funny um, I don't know if Stampin' Up! is kind of trying to build some more urgency in ordering, you know, that more things are selling out, I feel like, than used to. Maybe that's not the case, but my point was I had kind of mentioned, you know, if you guys want that ribbon, send me your $50 order and as soon as it becomes available. So I did have a few people take me up on that so that they were able to get the ribbon. And then I know some other people did miss out, so I'm so sorry that you weren't able to get the ribbon. You know, I mean... There's always going to be more ribbon though too, right ladies? So don't fret too much if you missed out on the ribbon. And like I said, do your comments and shares, sign up for my email list, post pictures of projects you've been making, and you might win this Grapefruit Grove ribbon next week, okay? Um, the other thing that I wanted to make sure to mention is that the hop around framelits hi darlene welcome the hop around framelits so those are part of the celebration coordination products there were five products that kind of coordinated um so the hop around framelits those have already sold out so if you didn't get those again i'm so sorry i know it's hard it's hard to know you know what is going to sell out and what's going to you know hang around for a little bit so but you still have the opportunity to get the cupcake framelits the um oh my mind what else so the lily framelits um there is that stamp set that's totally i can't even think of the name of the stamp set that we used last week um, whatever that stamp set is it coordinates with all the other stamp sets that we've had and then there is the story label punch so those four celebration coordination products sale right celebration coordination products are still available I checked the website before I got on the live just to make sure so nothing else is sold out as of right now but I guess if you guys really want these things just make sure you get those orders in and then even with the celebration stuff you know we've had a few things sell out um, the wooden uh, butterfly elements have already sold out the foil paper has already sold out and then that precious parcel card kit has already sold out and now the celebration ribbon so my point is Terry hi how are you doing um, oh Tammy's saying she's heard the cupcake cupcake dies are starting to run low I mean that makes sense um, they must have just not you know made too too many I think you know they're probably that you know from like an inventory and purchasing standpoint you don't want to end up with a million of these things left over so it's that fine line of trying to figure out you know and isn't it almost I, I don't know that would never <laughs> be a job that I would want is to try to figure out how many of these framelits are we gonna sell because the problem is they had to have the manufacturer making these like a while ago it's not like they could look probably and say well how many hop uh, whatever so happy together stamp sets have we sold maybe about that many framelit sets would sell you I don't think they can even do that there's more lead time involved so anyway so Tammy thank you for mentioning that I had not heard that yet it's 
it's not as far as I know been communicated anywhere, but maybe I missed it too on the Stampin' Up! website. So I guess that's the point. If you really want any of those celebration coordination products and you just have a couple weeks left of celebration too, so you might as well get your $50 order in, get your free celebration stuff, maybe get those coordination products. So yeah, just <laughs> very tough job to make those decisions. It, like I said, it would that would not be a job I would ever want to have for sure. Um... Okay, so I got to tell you guys, guess what? Miss Beth Martin, who is a part of our Inkspired Stampers group, just promoted this week to silver. And that is a really, really big deal. That's not an easy feat. And I'm going to tell you guys what it takes. So, well, first of all, it takes getting that awesome deal, the starter kit deal, right? And that's still available if anybody is interested. I'll mention that, the starter kit deal. You guys hopefully know the deal, right? Um, let's see that um yeah one of the best celebrations philomena is saying that's for sure and darlene yes you ordered the cupcake dies that's awesome good i'm glad you got those last night too um okay so oh my point was the starter kit deal so in case you haven't gotten it yet and you're interested you pick 175 dollars in product and pay only 99 dollars plus sales tax that 10 percent shipping fee is waived marianne hi how are you um, let's see, plus you get a paper pumpkin kit, you get a bunch of catalogs to be able to, um, you know, to share with other people. Sorry, there's, I have to like swipe this up. Okay, good, it went away. These notifications pop up and it kind of drives me crazy. There's probably a way to turn that stuff off on my phone and I haven't really looked into it and I always forget, honestly, before I go live. So, apologize there. Um, yeah, so get the starter kit, right? Then when you start having sales, right, First, you get to Qualified Recruit, which is $900 in sales. Next, you get to Bronze Elite, which is $1,800 in sales. And at that point, you get a 5% pay increase. So anything that you sell or purchase, however you want to look at it, um, you get 25% off of everything instead of just 20%. So again, that's Bronze Elite at $1,800. $1, then the next step is what Bath just hit, which is Silver. So she has... $3,600 in rolling 12 month sales. So that is an awesome, like, wow, that is very impressive, right, in terms of her sales. She also had, uh, and I think she's got more than one, but you have to have at least one person that's bought the starter kit through you to be considered silver status. So she had her new recruit for a while, and then she just got enough sales to bump up to the $3,600. So she continues to get her 25% off of all of her orders. She also, I got my little notes here, she gets it's a silver necklace or a money clip from Stampin' Up. It's a beautiful, I have the silver necklace also and I love it. It's really long, pendant, sparkly. And it has a little um, something on it, a little tag kind of a thing that says Stampin' Up. It's very, very pretty. Um, she also gets 5,000 flex points from Stampin' Up that she can use to maybe get more free product. And then and for me, I love to reward people that are in my group as well. So for me, I think this is a great reason to buy that starter kit and become an Inkspired Stamper because my reward is, I think it's pretty awesome, right? When you get to silver, when you promote to silver, you get a $75 shopping spree from me. So whatever you want out of any catalog, I'll get that for you and give it to you as your congratulations for promoting to silver, right? I also have um, charm necklace that you're gonna get um, a little charm letter I guess whatever the first letter of your name is I have that little yep I have to make sure yep the first letter and then flower charms we like to put cute little flower charms in there too so we always wear our little necklaces to our meetings and out to other events and things um, so yeah, it's just an awesome group to be a part of because of the rewards. Obviously, it's always fun to get free stuff, right? And then we have, in terms of the camaraderie too, just a great group to be a part of. We have a separate Facebook group just for the Inkspired Stampers. We just did our first Facebook Live kind of training over on the Inkspired Stampers group earlier this week. So lots of good benefits. I will put the link up if you're curious about knowing more about um, the benefits of becoming an Inkspired Stamper. But Yes, so congratulations to Beth. Yay, go Beth, that was awesome. And then we need to welcome, I have a couple of new Inkspired Stampers since we met last week. So I wanna say a, a hearty uh, welcome to Susan Ostrander 
and then Sean McPhee and Rosie Douglas all took advantage of that awesome starter kit deal last week. So they are now Inkspired Stampers and on their way maybe to getting to qualified recruit or bronze elite or silver. So yeah, it's awesome. It's just a, a fun group to be a part of. And like I said, who wouldn't want to get that starter kit? It's a great deal. And then you get this discount off of awesome product every time you put an order in after that. So there's really no downside to it. If you don't put enough in in orders, it's a $300 quarterly minimum. Basically, your demonstrator ID kind of drops, like you can't get onto the Stampin' Up! website any longer to put orders in or see kind of what's going on. Um, but nothing else happens. So there's no, no one's going to drive me crazy about getting um, those $300 in quarterly sales in. But let me tell you, it's pretty darn easy to do because there's a lot of cute stuff and they keep coming out with more new cute stuff, right? So, okay. So I want to do, we actually had a couple of online orders. Yay, Karen, you're very sweet. Congratulations and welcome. Very, very sweet. Okay, so, oh, well here, actually, let me tell you. So last week I had announced we were gonna give away the Painted Seasons stamp set. So this is one that you can get for free still during celebration. It's part of the bundle with the Painted Seasons stamp set and then the, is it the Painted Seasons Designer Series paper, the bundle. When you put a $100 order in, you can get the stamp set and the Coordinating Designer Series paper for free. And that is good from now until the end of March, hopefully, as long as supplies last because now you can actually if you put just a $50 order in, you can get that Painted Seasons Designer Series paper all on its own for free. Um, so with a $100 order, you can get the stamp set and the Designer Series paper, or for $50 order, just the Designer Series paper. But today, today only, I'm gonna do a drawing. Like I said, I had a couple of online orders. If you put at least a $30 online order in um, between today and next Wednesday, I'll tell you what I'm gonna give away in just a sec. But Okay, we're gonna draw out of here. Um, you also get the projects that I demonstrate. If you spend over $50 in your online order, I always send you a free embellishment. So basically you're a winner no matter what. This little drawing is kind of the icing on the cake if you happen to win this one too. So, okay, let's see, I'm shaking these around. Not nearly as many entries in here though. Um, okay, so let's see, I've got one ticket in my hand and it is Miss Mary Ann McGinnis. Congratulations. I know Tammy, I love this stamp set too. So, okay, Marianne, I will get your stamp set sent out to you. That is awesome. All right, moving this stuff out of the way. Okay, let me make sure, what do I have here? I wanna show you guys, oops, I'm like dropping things. What was that? Oh, okay, hold on one sec. Bend way over there to pick that thing up that fell on the floor. Okay, so today I wanna tell you guys about, this is my next freebie. Uh, you're welcome, Marianne. I'm so glad that you won. It's always fun to win stuff, isn't it? Okay, so these are, I guess I should open them. No, you know what? I'll keep them intact here. Okay, so the tea time framelits are what we're going to give away. I'll show you guys these in. So these are actually part of the celebration um, offering. These are kind of that level two free with a $100 order. You can get the tea time framelit. So you can see the cute little teapot and teacup and then all the other accessories there. And then actually, um, oh, I was thinking maybe there were some labels, but it looks like it cuts out some of the stamps and things because this stamp set coordinates. So from our occasions catalog, right? This well, or the framelit set coordinates with this. It's called the T, I was trying to make sure I had it right, the T Together stamp set. So this is a stamp set that you can purchase out of the Occasions catalog. And then with your $100 order, you can get the T Time framelits for free during celebration. But like I said, right now, if you put an online order in, your name is gonna go in the drawing to win those here, I'll do it like this, the uh, tea time framelits. Um, I will give you the host code in just a little bit. The host code is also always on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. So if you forget it or can't find it, just go to gatheringinspiration.com, grab that host code when you put your online order in and your name will go in the drawing. We're gonna draw for these next week, an awesome set of framelits. So you wouldn't even have to spend $100, right? You could spend just 30 and get your name in the drawing. So we will do that next week, okay? All right, let's see what else, what else. Keeping organized here. 
you know I like to do that yes they are beautiful the stamps and the framelits aren't they Karen I know you've really been enjoying them they're great like I think of like spring springtime spring teas Mother's Day just anything springy I think of like the cute dainty little doilies and the teacups and the teapot and all of that so yeah it's perfect finally spring may be arriving hopefully sooner than later right um, okay so I do want to also um, sorry, I'm still like sniffly. I really thought this cold was going to be gone by now, but apparently not quite yet. So, um, I'm going to lay these out for you guys here. Let's see. I do like this. So, I think I mentioned this, but I want to make sure because now is the time to make sure you have everything in the 2017-19 in colors. So, these are the colors that are going to be retiring on May 31st or they always brunch invitations too. Yes, how cute Philomena that would be awesome with your tea time stamp set and framelits. Um, okay, so these things always sell out before the end of May. So the retiring lists are going to come out in April. My point is get your stuff now in any of these in colors. If you spend $50, you're going to get a free celebration item too. So you might as well stock up on what you need. So if you need cardstock, so I'm going to give you the color names just so you make sure you know what, what's going to be going away. The Lemon Lime Twist, Berry Burst, Powder Pink, Fresh Fig, and Tranquil Tide. Those are the five in colors that will be retiring. So if you need cardstock, I have, this is some of, I don't have all of it, but I have a few examples. This is the ruffled ribbon in a couple of colors. You can see I've got some little pieces left. So this is the Lemon Lime Twist, the Powder Pink, and the fresh fig that pretty ruffled let's see maybe the green if you guys can see the ruffle edge ribbon i love this um that is going to be going away so cardstock if you need cardstock ink pads if you still haven't gotten those ink refills if you have your ink pads and you don't have ink refills yet right the cardstock did i say cardstock i said it probably like five times right the ribbon and oh, there are some little flower embellishments too. So just make sure, this is another one of those, I'm warning you guys right now, get this stuff while you can, because I know I'm gonna hear about somebody that missed out on, oh, I wanted more lemon lime twist cardstock because that's my favorite color. Get it now so you don't have to worry about, um, you know, not getting it when it's retired, right? Okay, Um, let's see. Oh, okay, you guys, so, I know, Marianne, I loved all of those colors. You, some of them I loved more than others. That's usually how it happens for me. Um, I am totally gonna miss Berry Burst and Lemon Lime Twist. Those are probably my two favorite colors. And then, yes, Nikki's saying, hopefully it carries over. You know, and sometimes it goes away. You guys will see that, right? Those in colors, like all five of them will go away. Didn't that just happen? Flirty Flamingo, well, because we just did a color renovation. I would be shocked if they do anything with colors this spring because we just did a pretty major color renovation last spring but that might be one of those colors that'll come back like lemon lime twist could come back as like a bright color you know in a couple years you'll it'll go away you'll miss it for a while and then it'll be kind of like a fresh new color again if it comes back in a couple years so we'll see you know you never know what they're gonna do it's, it's kind of but that's the fun part is when we you know bring back those colors or get new colors too right so oh and mid macaron yeah there are certain in colors that yep they were so popular i think that they decide okay those are going to be part of our core color collection so you never know ladies uh, but in the meantime get what you want from those right now okay so i want to show you guys because this is one of those things that my and this happens to a lot of people i know my paper pumpkin boxes and blackberry bliss that's another good one too philomena yeah my paper pumpkin box comes and it's always it sits in my craft room looking at me going amy come make the projects i totally want you to make the projects in this kit and it's like that's like a luxury for me to just sit down and make things so i actually allowed myself last weekend it was late, but I was like, oh, I really want to see what's in this paper pumpkin kit. So I sat down and I made these projects. And seriously, it they call it like a 30-minute creativity escape. That's really about all it takes, too. So I don't know why I get these so piled up sometimes. It just happens like that, I guess. Um, but so I wanted to show you guys because I it, this is one of those kits. I saw the video and I was like, oh, yeah, that's nice. But I wasn't like super, super excited about it. 
But of course, just like so many things, when you get your hands into it and you start playing with them, they are awesome. So I have to show you guys, this is kind of a picture of the, the cards in. So this would have been, what would this have been? This is called the Grow With Kindness February 2019 Paper Pumpkin Kit. So I'm gonna show you that picture or the pictures only because if you haven't gotten a paper pumpkin kit before, you always get that little pamphlet and then you always get some, these are kind of, I'm just gonna scan through there, like just little step-by-step -step instructions on how to put your projects together. They also always do a video that shows you like someone from Stampin' Up with their hands making all these projects. And it's fun because they put cute little music to it and they usually kind of speed through the parts that I haven't figured out, you know, how to do that on my videos yet. I haven't actually tried. I'm sure it's probably not that hard, but whatever. Anyway, so it's a cute video too. If, so if you're more of a visual learner, you can watch the video and then make your projects. And the other awesome thing is if you sign up for Paper Pumpkin, so what is today is the 8th, if you sign up by March 10th, you're gonna get the March Paper Pumpkin Kit. And what do you get in the March Paper Pumpkin Kit? It's a free stamp set in every box, in addition to the regular Paper Pumpkin stamp set that you're gonna get that you'll use to make the projects that are in your Paper Pumpkin Kit. And this is all because Paper Pumpkin is turning six years old. It's really, really hard to believe that. So, sign up by March 10th. So, what would that be, Friday? So Sunday, if you sign up by Sunday, you're gonna get the March Paper Pumpkin Kit and then you're gonna get an extra free stamp set in there too. So I have to show you guys, I'm gonna kinda open up my box. Um, I'll show you those stamp set in, in a sec because I think the cards are even more powerful um, when you see them for real, I guess I'd say. So of course this is gonna be backwards, but I loved even like the photographic imagery that they put on all of these cards. I absolutely loved it. So this one says the you, right? In the succulents, spelled out you, can do incredible things. And you guys, I'm gonna try to get super close. Like I said, I know it's backwards, but look at how beautifully that stamped. Sometimes those really little kind of tiny stamps like that don't stamp very well. These were all super crisp and super beautiful. So this one says, you are wonderful. And then we've got a, you are beautiful. And I know I love the succulents too, Tammy. They're probably like the one thing that I can grow. Um, oh, and then this is another. So those were, I think there were nine cards in this pack. So there were three Oh, and I don't know if you guys are even gonna be able to tell because the, the card bases themselves, oh, are you gonna even be able to see that? I'm trying to move. Can you guys kind of see there's like a kind of a printed detail on there that is awesome. It's a, I don't know, not mosaic, but uh, I don't even know how to describe it. It kind of makes my eyes go wiggly, um, but it is, it's really, really, really cool. And then these are actually like a black and white stripe with that beautiful succulent, um, kind of picture as well. And then this one says, life is tough, but so are you. So I made those, cause that was the only stamp that was really long like that. You could have done something else, um, but I made all of those the same. So we have three of those. Life is tough, but so are you, right? And then the last one is a thank you with more succulents in those cute teacups. And you'll notice, so even the thank you stamped beautifully, the little, um, plus signs, I guess I'll say, are, um, they just stamp so well. And then can you guys see the, um, what are they even calling them? The metallic, are they metallic enamel dots? Cause they're a little bit sparkly there. There are a couple down there and then that one up there. And they always give you extra. So I've got these three cards as well, right? So nine cards all together. I have some extra parts and pieces. So I have some extra of the black and white twine. Oh, there's the glare. And then you can maybe kind of see those little metallic, um, yeah, metallic enamel dots. That's what they're calling them. And you always get the mini glue dots and then some dimension, well, not always, but it seems like usually they do. So you might need a snail to put things together or a lot of times you can even just use what's in there too. So this is the stamp set and it's kind of a cute, they've got that little teacup with the succulents in there too. And then just a bunch of, I used almost all of the stamps, like the wording ones. There were a couple, let's see, there's one that says, 
be kinder to yourself and let your kindness flood the world. So that's kind of cool, right? And then you're the reason I smiled today. That's a pretty awesome stamp also. And then just some other kind of decorative stamps in there too. So you can see that's a really good size stamp set there also. I'm trying to like count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Maybe 15. I might have double counted. Maybe 14 or 15 stamps in that stamp set. So all for $20. Plus you get this cute little fresh fig ink spot, which these have a lot more ink in them than you think that they do, right? And then they sent some, um, these are just kind of plain coordinating white envelopes. Sometimes they do fun stuff on the inside or the outside. These are simple. You could stamp on them and have lots of fun. I did not do that on those. Um, and then I will show you too, because this is why you don't need a big shot or anything else to make these projects. These were the little die cut pieces. So you can see I used all of those, right? But then here's a whole nother set. So if your stamping didn't go well here, you got another try with these as well. So we, they kind of layered these things. Um, and so you generally end up with extra stuff in your kit too. So they're just, oh my gosh, so much fun and so easy um you know you can take them with you wherever you go you know whenever you like have a couple minutes and want to make something cute like you know especially i think of like people do it a lot of times in the summer when they're camping it's a great little you know just grab your red box maybe grab some adhesive and you have everything that you need to make these cute projects so again make sure you sign up by march 10 to get this month's kit and that free stamp set and i'll include the link um, in the comments too so if you're interested in signing up and every month it's a surprise. You never know what you're gonna get, um, usually. Sometimes they'll give us a sneak peek, but I haven't seen a sneak peek um, for this one. Although there's there's probably, I don't know, there's gonna be some extra fun stamp set in there too, all for $20. So in that case, it was nine cards for $20, plus you end up with extra parts and pieces. You end up with a stamp set that you can use for the rest of your life and an ink spot that lasts a lot longer than you think it's going to, so. Very, very cool. I love Paper Pumpkin. Oh, the other thing too that I wanna make sure to mention is if you get one of the prepaid options, they are really fun, aren't they, Tammy? Um, one Like a three month prepaid subscription, and I can't remember the exact pricing, but basically it's about $60. So it's at least over $50. You get a free celebration item if you get the three month prepaid. So you basically pay it up front, up front for all three months. Same thing is gonna happen. So the six month, that's like 120. It's got, there's a discount though too. Um, but you're gonna get probably two free celebration items, a uh, level one or a level $200 free celebration item. And then the 12 month um, subscription, you're gonna get lots of pre uh, paper, or not, you're gonna get lots of free celebration choices as well. So it's a great, if you wanna pay monthly or if you wanna pay up front, then you can get those celebration rewards too. So I will include, like I said, the links for all of that. Or if you go to paperpumpkin.com, it's all right there too to sign up. So, but do that, do it this weekend if you can, right? Um, okay, so I just have to do a quick shout out for my country floral embossing folder because I've been sharing all week long. And this has probably been one of the most popular product of the week items that I've picked. People are loving this um, embossing folder. So this is the one that has that beautiful, I guess there is more than one flower, but I feel like that one in the middle always pops out at me so much. So make sure, this is another one of those celebration items, you can get it free with a $50 order. Just make sure you get that before it goes. Cause I don't know, this, like I said, based on the popularity of the posts that I did and everyone loving this embossing folder, this could be one that sells out um, before the end of celebration. Hopefully not, but yeah. Oh, you do you have a picture that you made with this? Okay, I wanna see, Tammy, I'm curious to see your picture. I would love to see what you've been up to. Um, and anybody, I'd love to see what anybody's up to. I'd love for you guys to share right here on our group. Anytime you make something cute and there's nobody around to go, oh my gosh, I love that. Put it on here, because you know other people are gonna love it too. So it's a fun, a fun group to share with, for sure. Um, okay, I think we are ready, almost ready to do our stamping. And the sun has come out, so now we've got some funny glares and things. Um, I wanna see if I can find, get my grid paper and my host code. I'm gonna get that out. Okay, so yes, the folder is awesome, isn't it? 
Nikki, yeah. If you've made something, I'd love to see what you've made with it too. So, okay, turn your heads away. I am gonna move this camera and we are gonna get to our stamping. Okay. Let's see. Oh, sorry, I'm all nasally. Okay, and we do, we've gotta take our table for a ride. I can't stand all of that glare. <clears throat> And I'm going to get my next thing that I want to show you guys, too. Okay, hold on. Here we go. Okay, that looks like it's good for now. We'll see how long that lasts. Okay, so here is that host code that I was talking about. Um, where are those frames, too? I want to have those handy to show you guys. Huh, they're all buried. I do have them here. Okay, sorry. I had so much I wanted to tell you guys about today, I guess is the problem, but okay. So those framelits, the Tea Time framelits, you get your name in the drawing to win the Tea Time framelits if you put a $30 order in online by next Wednesday. You're also going to get the projects that I demonstrate today. Make sure to use the host code, the BM9KZG2E. And if you order over $50, well, you're going to get a free celebration item right now. And you also get a free embellishment from me. So it's an awesome time to order because you might win those tea time framelits. So, okay, one other thing I have to show you guys is my latest class to go. I finally got it done. I feel like I've been wanting to do this for forever. And I was struggling because there are a few things that I really want to do class to go on and everything, well, not everything, but the couple things that I want to use are on back order. So I'm like, I cannot use those yet. So be watching. I've got some other fun ideas. Um, but this month, I don't know if you guys have seen, I just uploaded yesterday to YouTube my latest. This is the Incredible Like You class to go. So it features this awesome stamp set. I love the stripes. This is kind of a two step flower. These great sentiments, so glad we are friends, incredibly proud of you, I just adore you, and hope your day is as amazing as you. And then another little two-step. And then it's fun because these little pieces can kind of layer like around there. I'm gonna show you the cards because I think it's one thing to see the stamp set, which is gorgeous, but then to actually see it in use is even better. So I'm gonna tell you, let, let me show you the cards and I'll tell you about the options available. So let's see, we've got four different cards. That's what I love to do is cards. So we've got, you're gonna make two of each of these, okay? So this is the I Just Adore You card and you see kind of all the fun stamping, right? So you'd make two of that card. You'd make two of this Incredibly Proud of You card. And then two of this Hope Your Day is as amazing as you. And then here's some, I just love all that stamping. And then this next one and the stripes with the So Glad We Are Friends. Hi, Amy Jo. I'm glad you can join us. So that is, those are the projects that you'd make. You also need, I'll talk about that stuff in a sec, but you need um, a couple of different colors of ink pads. So we've got Berry Burst, Lemon Lime Twist, and Bermuda Bay, you need those three. And then actually you need a, oops, they're kind of flapping all over here on me. These other three, we've got Tranquil Tide, Night of Navy, and Calypso Coral. So those six ink pad colors are what you need for the class to go to actually do your stamping. And then obviously you need the incredible Like You stamp set. If you don't have that, make sure you pick one of the options that includes the stamp set so that you can do your stamping, right? Okay, so option number one includes the Incredible Like You stamp set. Maybe I'll pop that back in there. It also includes the glitter enamel dots, the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls. I This is the only pack I had left that was anywhere decent to show you guys. You would get a full pack. And then you get a full bolt of the Knight of Navy Gingham Ribbon, which is awesome. I love that ribbon. Plus, option number one is also going to include the full... Um, incredible like you project kit so because I love this is the kit that's supposed to coordinate with that stamp set and these cards are awesome so you would make four of each of these cards with your kit when you get that because you'd obviously have your stamps and then those cute striped envelopes too so this is a Mac daddy option number one you also get a free celebration choice and the PDF tutorial so option number one is $86 option number two is everything except the kit 
the Incredible Like You Project Kit. Maybe you already have that. Maybe you don't want that. Honestly, I don't know why you wouldn't want it because it's so cute. It's all, all of this work is almost all done. You just have to stamp and kind of put things together. And they do give you step-by-step -step instructions. But okay, so enough about that. But option two does not include that. You get everything else in option number two. Um, it doesn't include a celebration choice because product-wise, it doesn't quite get you to a $50 order. So, But option number two is $55, okay? Option number three is if you already have the Incredible Like You stamp set, it is just the glitter enamel dots, the Share What You Love Artisan Pearls, and the bolt of the Knight of Navy Baker, or um, uh, gingham ribbon, right? Plus all the projects, you're going to make eight cards, two of each of them, and the PDF tutorial. So option number three is $41. Option number four is just the PDF tutorial. It's always available even after the RSVP deadline has passed. It tells you step by step all the colors, sizes, um, everything you need to know to put each of these cards together, right? That PDF tutorial is always $15, always available. I'm glad that you are enjoying those um, kits or uh, cards in the kit too, Karen. They are gorgeous. Um, and then option number five is for anyone in my downline in the Inkspired Stampers group. Basically, you can get all the parts and pieces to make these make and takes. You get your own stamp set through your own demo ID and your ink so you can do your stamping, get your discount, right? But option number five for my downline is $12 for the make and takes. Registration ends on Friday, March 29th, so that's got a couple weeks to kind of decide. Um, get your PayPal payment in. One thing I am trying to ask people to do, there is um, like a friends and family payment option if you click the link on PayPal. Um, then it doesn't take fees out because I'm trying to keep the prices down. Um, but when you use PayPal and you don't do friends and family, it takes fees out. And then I have to kind of start thinking about bumping the prices up a little bit. And I don't want to do that if I don't have to. So if you can, try to do that with your PayPal when you register. And then the expected shipping date of all kits is Wednesday, April 10th. Um, oh, and if you need it shipped to you, it's an additional $8 shipping charge. Okay, so let me know if you have any questions. Um, that email should have gone out today. It's on my blog. Um, it's on YouTube. So lots of different ways that you can get that um, to-go kit ordered. But if you have any questions, let me know. I'd love to get you one of these awesome to-go kits. Okay, all right, now we are seriously ready to do our stamping. I'm going to get my grid paper and we've got that i'll keep that host code this always helps me know my camera is always in a different kind of spot so i just never quite know where the center but that looks like the center right okay quick sip of water and okay so i have to show you because i am in total love with this stamp set i was like okay i gotta make another card to show you guys how awesome the stamping is for this stamp set okay so this this card features that incredible like you stamp set that's part of the class to go okay so let me get my things out here and kind of tell you what's going on okay one of those do, 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 do. i was trying to make sure that i had my stamp and pierce max i think that is helpful and I see it right back here. Okay, good. I need those ink pad colors too. Okay, and I love, there's something, this is like, I don't know, beach to me, the, the colors that we used on this one. So this is a Coastal Cabana card base. Mary Ellen, hi, how are you? I'm glad you can join us. And then we've got Grapefruit Grove. And then this is the fun. I loved using this Granny Apple Green and Coast, did I? I don't know what. This is Coastal Cabana. I keep saying Calypso Coral. I honestly can't tell. I can't remember if I said Coastal Cabana, but that's what this color is. Coastal Cabana and then Granny Apple Green. <laughs> oh, Karen's saying she just ordered that stamp set. Oh, to make a special graduation card. Yeah, look at that. That, like, incredibly proud of you. I think that's what's so cool is we don't have a sentiment. I don't feel like we. that's kind of an unusual one. And the I just adore you, too. Plus, so glad we are friends. That's awesome, right? And hope your day is as amazing as you. They're all great sentiments. Okay, so we're going to start with our Coastal Cabana um, card base, right? Eight and a half by 11. Cut it in half along the 11 inch side at five and a half. Score it in half along the four and a four or eight and a half inch side at four and a quarter inches, okay? To make our nice crisp fold on our card. 
Then we have a piece of, this is Grapefruit Grove cardstock that measures four inches by five and a quarter inches. Okay, and then this piece of Whisper White cardstock is just an eighth of an inch smaller, so three and seven eighths by five and one eighth inch. Okay, and then this is just a strip of Whisper White cardstock that we are going to die cut our rectangle stitched framework from. I'm going to actually grab my big shot and I'm going to cut this first. A lot of times I say to do the stamping first, but I'm finding in some of these cases I actually want to do the die cutting first. Here are my framelits. So that I can kind of get things placed where I want them. And we are, so you guys have all seen, right, the rectangle stitched framelits. Roseanne, hi there. I'm glad you can join us. So this is the third smallest rectangle stitched framelit, okay? So we're just going to lay it right down. Oops, I think I have both. No, I don't. Here we go. I was thinking they were both underneath there, but okay. So we're just going to lay that right on there. Put our other clear cutting pad. So I've got my magnetic platform, one clear cutting pad underneath my paper, my framelit, and then the other clear cutting pad on top. And that is all we need for that one. So we're gonna scoot this big shot out of the way. All right. And you can see how easy this just pops right out, right? Okay, so can you guys see the stitching on there? It is also on that, what I kind of call the negative image there too. Can you see that stitching? So if you wanted to use this as like a little frame around something, you could do that too. So very fun that it stitches on the inside and the outside as well. Okay. So let's do our stamping on this little guy. I don't think I'm going to go off too much. Okay. I was trying to make sure, if, see if I needed um, something to go underneath the, in case I stamped off the edge, but there's not going to be much if it happens. Okay, so with my Grapefruit Grove ink, I am going to use, so this is kind of the little smudgy background. It is meant to not stamp super dark. So you can see, right, that's pretty light. And then, I love this, this is the two-step. And the cool part about this is if it's not totally lined up, like that maybe isn't quite lined up perfectly, it's very forgiving. You really can't even tell if I didn't quite do that right. Okay, now I'm gonna use my Granny Apple Green ink. And just with that little stem, nice and easy, tap, tap, tap. You don't wanna like roll much there, okay? Um, I don't think I need that green any longer, so I can close that one up. And then we need our Coastal Cabana ink for our So Glad We Are Friends. And I am gonna stamp that. It's funny, I was having a little bit of a hard time lining. There's something about how that is on the stamp that, <laughs> that might be a Stamparatus um, stamp that you need. Actually, here, I'm gonna keep that one open. That's pretty good, right? I don't know. I don't worry quite so much about that stuff like I used to. Okay, now with our white piece, because I kind of want to line up what I'm doing here. So I get my stripes where I want them. So, let's see, I'm going to just scoot that over, maybe about like that, and I want like one there. Huh, I don't know, there's something about those stripes that I find so fun. And then one more right there, okay? That's all we need for that one. Then back with this little guy, again, my Grapefruit Grove, right? Is that what I'm using? We're going to make a couple little polka dots around kind of the edges so you can just kind of see them popping out. So there's just something about the fun little splotchy, liney, watercolory ness of this that I really liked. <laughs> I don't know. And plus, I think, I keep thinking Miami. When I look at these colors, I keep like thinking of like going to Miami Beach or something. I don't know. The beachy, these are like kind of beachy colors and I am ready, ready for some warmth and sun. Okay, so now I think we can put things together. I was trying to make sure we had what we needed. Alrighty, so I am going to put this guy, we're going to add some adhesive on the back of here. Okay, so I'm going to put this guy right on here. 
the white on the grapefruit grove and then we can add and this is where I add more adhesive because now I have two layers and I want them to make sure they stick well on my card and this is um, you know if you don't press too hard if things don't look like they're lined up you can pull that back up and resituate it but I think that looks good so as I was talking I put some dimensionals on there earlier so I'm just going to peel these dimensionals off and we're going to kind of put that maybe right about there right and then what else do we need okay so these are my basic adhesive back sequins and I know that there are more colors involved with this but apparently this is all I have left so these are kind of a I don't know I'm gonna say kind of a minty green and I actually thought they worked really well with this just kind of add a little bit of sparkle and fun so I'm just gonna add a few of those randomly around there okay so these are in the annual catalog they're all kind of nice soft subtle colors um, but like I said I think I have a couple packs and um, not not all the colors left any longer okay so now I want to use so I love this ribbon too Coastal Cabana on one side and Granny Apple Green with the stitching. Can you see that too? This was part of my class to go kit this month that I just mailed out this week. Oh my goodness, I love this ribbon. It's funny because when I saw it in the catalog, I, I was like, oh, I don't know, it's okay. Um, but then I started playing with it. And I'm trying to kind of flip that as I pull it through because I kind of want more of the Granny Apple Green side to show. You just have to kind of flip things around when you're tying them to show what you want, which color you want. And I think it's okay either way if you want to show some Coastal Cabana because I'm not sure. My, this is when I realize how dry my hands are too. Like It's almost like the little, <laughs> the dryness is like sticking. Um, my fingers are sticking to the ribbon because they're so dry. Is that awful? That's Michigan in the winter. The super dryness. Okay, so we've got a little bow. I'm just going to stick my bow onto a mini glue dot and we're going to put that right about there. I might trim those down just a little bit. Right? Oops. Making sure not to cut your card. That would not be good, right? You cut your card instead of there so isn't that awesome yes these two colors complement each other very very well don't they that granny apple green and the coastal cabana and then even that grapefruit grove so pretty there it is now it's in the view right so hopefully you guys enjoyed that card if you love this you'd be able to make this one too if you get that on um, class to go kit that i just um started well off i'm offering now right so i know i love them together too thank you guys i know so much fun spring and summer yeah you guys are so cute thank you you're making my day oh all right so i need to grab because i have too many ink um inked stamps i guess i gotta grab my little um what's this called the chamois i'm gonna clean these off real quick you guys can see i had a friend tell me how um this really bothered her how dirty <laughs> the funniest thing was the one that she was pointing at I'm like but I just cleaned that <laughs> all I do for my cleaning is just run them in the sink run hot water on them until they as I squeeze them they don't like you know squeeze out ugly colors any longer so it didn't look clean but I don't think I think it gets stained is what happens it's not that it's not clean it's just that it gets stained and it's hard to hard to tell Okay, so let me scoot these guys out of the way, and I will show you the next project we are going to make. Let's see. Okay. Scooting, scooting, scooting things out of the way. Let me actually... That can go there. I need to keep one of those cards out so I can show you that one more time at the end. Okay, so... All right, you guys, here's the other project. Yay! Oh my gosh. So, you guys, this embossing folder I had not even used yet. It is, what is the name of this folder? This is the one right here. It is the dot to dot. So, can you see? We actually did it this way. Can you kind of see the dots? But then we cut these pieces into strips. So, I'll show you 
I'll show you that in just a sec. But I love this, this cute little dot to dot embossing folder. And then the other thing that we're using, obviously we're using the Lasting Lily Celebration Stamp Set. So this is one of those level two stamp sets that you can get free with a $100 order during celebration, right? And then, so maybe you would wanna order, oh my gosh, I gotta grab those. Where are those framelits? I think I left those in my craft room. Oh shoot. Okay, I have to go run and grab those. But these are the Lily framelits that cut out all of the images in the Lily stamp set. And then the other really cool thing is they have a couple of labels. There's this little bit larger label and then there's a little bit smaller one too. So darn it, I thought I had everything here. Okay, I gotta run and grab those framelits um, so that we can make this card. Okay, bear with me one sec. I'm gonna kind of scoot these things out of the way and go, yeah, one sec, I'll be right back. Hold on. <laughs> so, okay, they're all pulled off already. So I'm just gonna kind of show you. So that's the little bit smaller label. And then this is the one that we're using. So this one is a little bit larger. Can you kind of see? But you could have some fun layering those too. And then these are all the other pieces that we're gonna use. So I'm gonna keep those actually over here. So we don't, so we're using everything except that one smaller label on this card. And I should tell you guys too, this was another card. You know how I mentioned I went, actually it's been like over a month ago now, but that leadership convention that I went to, a bunch of awesome displays, and this is one of the cards that was on display. I'm pretty sure this card was designed by Tammy Ackerson but don't quote me on it for sure, but I, th I think that we could give Tammy Ackerson credit. She does beautiful, simple stamping. And so this was another one of those. I took a bunch of pictures and when I saw it, I was like, oh, we have to make that card. Um, yeah, Sandra, talk among yourselves. That's true, how funny. Yeah, you guys should have been like chatting it up while I was running around getting stuff. <laughs> you are so funny. <laughs> okay, all right, so I've got all my uh, stamps. What else do we need? Okay. There's a lot. Well, there's not that much, but I do want to grab my stamp and pierce mat. We're going to have to do um, a bit of die cutting because you guys can see all the different pieces. So we are going to start. This is Mango Melody. I wanted to use like a fun, bright. I wasn't quite sure of her color combination because my picture was a little funny that I took, but I kind of liked this really bright. So we've got Mango Melody. We're going to stamp one of our lilies there. And then we're going to do another one right there. Okay. And then we need, what do I want to do next? Oops, I need my Night of Navy that I had over in my to-go kit too. Let's try. We're going to do, this is the Wishing You Well stamp in my Night of Navy ink. Him right there. Have I left enough room? Now I'm worried that I think I can put the leaves all. That's all I need, right? I've got two. Okay. Oh, pear pizzazz. This is pear pizzazz ink that we're using for kind of the stems and leaves. Okay, so we're gonna do one, maybe right there. We're gonna do this guy right there, and then one more leaf. We'll do, let me make sure that that's good. And do that one there. Okay, so we are gonna get our ink right out of the way and do our die cutting and our embossing too. Okay, actually before I do, let me just tell you about measurements for the card itself. So we have, this is a piece of crumb cake cardstock Again, along the 11 inch side, we cut it at five and a half inches. And then along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a quarter inches to make our lovely fold on our card, right? Then I have a piece, this is Knight of Navy cardstock that measures four inches by five inches. And then after we emboss it, we're gonna cut it into one inch strips. So we'll have five one inch strips here. And then everything else was just scrap paper, the white paper to do our stamping on. Okay, so let me get these, move these stamps out of the way, because I think we're all done with our stamping, right? Okay, I grab the big shot. 
Let's do the embossing first because I'm afraid I'm going to like sling the big shot away once I get done with the die cutting and forget that I need to do that too. Okay. So I have just my regular big shot platform and this is a thinner kind of a regular embossing folder. So we need the two clear plates, one underneath and one on top. I'm going to put this in here and I want these going kind of vertically. So can you guys see? Hi, Denise. How are you? Oops, there. Maybe you can see better. There's a little line right there, which helps us kind of line up our cardstock. Ha! Ah, let's see. I'm missing a no. What is Darlene saying? I ordered the stamps, but not the dies. <laughs> Someone please hide my checkbook. I know. Oh, my gosh, Darlene. Oh, <laughs> Oh, and Denise, you have an order. Yes, um, you missed earlier. There are some things that have sold out those hop, I think they're called the hop around framelits, the ones that go, the, the frogs, basically. Those have sold out. So yeah, get me your order as soon as you can so we make sure to get you what you want before anything else sells out. Okay, so we're done with this platform. I'm gonna grab my magnetic platform back. Um, Denise, if you want to email me too, you can go right ahead and do that with an order. Um, or if you put it in online and use the host code, then you get these projects that I'm showing you guys. And your name goes in the drawing to win, what am I giving away? Those tea time framelits too. I'll show you those at the end. So check out, this is the embossing folder. Isn't this so cute? So in a sec, we're going to cut that in the strips. Um, and because I thought it was easier to emboss like a full sheet and then cut it in strips rather than trying to like cut it in strips and then line them up in there and not have them all funny. So that was kind of a, a tip I thought I would share with you guys. Okay, so we are, we're going to have to cut a few things, you know, run it through a couple of times here because it's not all going to fit, but we'll do what we can. So let's see, I think I can probably do both of those and... Let's see, that guy. So now the trick is gonna be, this might take me a sec because this magnetic platform, you know, gets a little funny sometimes and things start winging around. So hopefully we're okay here. One more. So far, so good. Now probably as soon as I put my plate down, that's when things start moving, but you know, as long as it's pretty close. There we go. Okay, sorry if that's wiggling a little bit. Give me one sec. <laughs> Marianne, you have to go back and see what you missed, huh? Yeah, well, that's the beauty of this, right? Is that it's all there for you whenever you can watch or catch up. Okay, all right, so we've got those now with my little label. I think this is so cute. I love when they do this, like when they give us like a little label so you know that's great in itself because you can use that for anything really any sentiment that'll fit on there or just kind of a cute little layer piece um, so i love that when they give us you know these things that coordinate perfectly and then some kind of a couple of extra fun little framelits that you can use for anything right you know that aren't specific to the stamp set, although you can see how perfectly that little wishing you well. Oh no, did it move? Oh, it sure did, look at that. Well, it was supposed to fit perfectly in there. I wonder, let's see if I'm gonna be able to. I think there's a spot right here, let's try it. All right, bear with me one sec. We're gonna try to stamp this right on there. I think I can do it. Okay, here's my wishing you well <clears throat> and my Night of Navy ink. All right, we'll try one more time, and if this doesn't work, <laughs> let's see if I can stamp it right on here. Okay, that stamped well. All right, so that's the kind of tricky part is when you're running that many um, dies all at once. Now, what did I do with that? Oh, ladies, you guys probably see it right here, don't you? Where did it go? Because those are everything else except... Hmm. Well, maybe we won't be. It's here. Oh, here it is. It's stuck. <laughs> I'm like, where's the framelit? Seriously. We're going to flip this. Sometimes, so you probably can't tell, but this is almost like it's, I don't know, curved up a little bit like this. So sometimes I want it to be more like, like this, basically, when they start to get a little warpy. Actually, you know what it is? I think this is the one that I like on the bottom, the one that is more etched into. I usually keep one that stays super flat. 
Maybe that was the problem. Okay, we'll try this one more time. And if this doesn't work, you guys will get the idea. Okay. All right, so we're cranking our handle here. Here we go. <laughs> yeah, they're all very well loved, that's for sure. And it doesn't take long for me, Tammy, these plates. Yes, and it's funny because this one's actually fairly new. Um, oh, isn't that funny? I can even see some of those lilies right in there. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I thought I would keep like a good set, you know, for these videos and things. They just don't last very long though, so my good set becomes the kind of meh set in not very long time, not, not much time. Okay, so I'm gonna trim this piece down again. This was four by five. So I am going to cut this into one inch strips, okay? Oops, oh, that didn't go through. Let's try that again. There. Well, what the heck? Do I have my, I wonder if I have a really, so ladies, I don't use this very often. <laughs> I thought this would be better than my guillotine thing, but well, god darn it. It's funny because I did practice to make sure. Okay, I gotta go get my other, the thing I really use, but we don't sell it any longer, so I didn't want to show you guys. All right, hold on. Because we have to be able to cut these things. Okay, so ignore this. Maybe someday they'll come back out with one of these things, but we don't have them right now. What do I do with my paper? Right here. Okay, so I'm going to trim this down. There's one, two, three, and I'll have to figure out what's going on with that blade on that. There we go. Okay. <laughs> of course that had to happen. Okay, so now we can put some adhesive. Oh yeah, and you know, I don't even think it really matters. I, I was originally like, oh, you kind of need to keep those in order, but it's so kind of random looking anyway that I really don't think it's that big of a deal. These are going to be like winging all over the place, of course. So I want to put a good amount of adhesive on these though because they have all of that um, embossing. So they're pretty bumpy. Now I would say the trick here is they're pretty close together. So just kind of know that when you're putting these things on, right? We've got one, there we go. And if you don't press, like I'm not pressing down too hard, if I find that I need to maybe space them out or move them around just a tiny bit, I should still be able to do that. So I'm just kind of gently putting them down, but I think we are gonna be good. Actually, I wanna, Maybe move that one up just a titch. So there is a little bit of kind of precision involved in getting these placed on here. So again, just don't press too hard so you can lift it up. I think that looks good. So now I'm gonna press really firmly to get those all stuck down on there. And then we can start kind of building our lilies. So let's get all of these guys. So I just flung that stuff out of the way when that label didn't work. I'm trying to make sure I have everything now. Okay, so I'm gonna use big dimensionals wherever I can. And then I've got my little minis that I'm gonna use in, again, places wherever I can. And then some of them are so skinny that I actually kind of cut little strips from, where are my scissors? Here they are, okay. So I just cut teeny, like super skinny little strips. And then you can peel those off and maybe put one right there and one right there. Oops, and I forgot that guy. Okay, so we're gonna use one big and one baby there. Okay, so I wanted all of that popping up on my project. Okay, so that's the last one. So now to kind of decide how you're gonna place things, um, <laughs> oh, Sandra, you're saying, oh, you don't think it, it was the blade, it was the bumps. Maybe, yeah, because I did try it and it worked. It was on like just a copy piece of paper because I thought, oh, how embarrassing. You know, I wanna make sure this blade works when I do this on Facebook Live because I don't use it very often. 
and I did test it. So yeah, maybe it was the bumps. That's true. That might be it. Okay, so we're just kind of, and again, I'm just kind of gently putting those down in case I want to kind of move things a little bit. So I'm just peeling off the back now. And this one I did kind of pop underneath there. You can either have it, yeah, maybe that's kind of cool actually. So either way, you can put it on top or underneath, whatever you prefer. That's actually gonna kind of get covered up with, let's do this one on top, both of them, right? Ho, 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 so pretty, pretty. Um, love how you've cut that embossed layer apart. Yeah, I thought that was a really cool idea too. Again, I can't take any credit. I'm pretty sure it was Tammy Ackerson that I got that idea from. Um, okay, and then here is our wishing you well. And I did forget, actually, I don't want a dimensional on this because I don't like it when it's kind of lopsided popping up. So I'm going to peel that back off. I don't want that on there. I'm going to just add some adhesive on this side because... This side's going to be popped up right there, and then the other one's just going to kind of layer right over those. Okay, we're almost done. Now, I just used a little bit of, this was, um, I kind of had to add a little something to that. Let's see, what are you guys saying here? Um, I know that when I cut embossed paper, it didn't get the cleanest cut. Okay, well, so, yeah, maybe, maybe that's it. I don't know, like I said though, that blade might be pretty old. So it could be a combination of me and my old blade and it being embossed. Okay, so did you guys see that I just did like a double layer bow? Basically you just loop, you know, two strings together and act as if you're working with one. You just have to kind of play a little bit with things. Okay, thank you guys though. I appreciate you not like you know, making fun of me that my paper didn't cut. <laughs> it's live, ladies, it's live. That's how it goes. Now, where's my ball? I threw it away. Not really, but okay. So now I'm just trying to find my next mini glue dot. I'm going to pop that right on there and then put him there. And that is it. So yay. Isn't that so cool? So like I said, I had yet to even play with that dot that's that what it's called the dot to dot embossing folder and then the lilies how about that i think i say that like lily because my daughter's name is lily so i just i love the lily stamps and the lily framelits so again these the lily framelits are the celebration coordination product you can order those um how much are they they are 27 dollars. oh yeah here you know when i was struggling earlier these are all of the celebration coordination products that you can still order more than words that was the name of the stamp set that we used last week then you've got the lily framelits the call me cupcake forget about the hop around framelits because those are not available any longer and then you've got the four seasons framelits and the story label punch so you've still got five awesome coordinating products that you can still order and say for example if you bought two sets of framelits that would be over a $50 order then you could get a free celebration choice too so it's still such a good time with just a couple weeks left so make sure you take advantage of it while you still can because April 1st then you can't get any more free stuff such a bummer so okay in the meantime though I want to just do a quick recap things are all over the place here Make sure that if you need to get any products, and oh, the other thing I need to make sure to mention, I will upload my blog post a little bit later this afternoon that will have all of the item codes and dimensions for everything that we used. So item codes and then dimensions for both of these cards will be on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com. Okay, so if you missed anything, you can either rewind and catch it on the live or it'll be in print on my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, okay? So again, if you place an order of at least $30 by next Wednesday, you are gonna get these two cards that I demonstrated and your name goes in the drawing to win the tea time framelits. These are so cute, perfect for spring. Like Philomena said, for a brunch invitation. How cute is that, huh? Make sure you use the host code though, BM9KZG2E. You can always find that at gatheringinspiration.com. If you bump your order up to $50, you're gonna get a free embellishment from me and you also get a celebration choice. So thank you guys. I'm so glad you all hung with me today. I know I 
was super chatty as usual. I don't know. I always think I don't have anything to say. And then I look at the time when I'm all done. I'm like, oh, clearly I had more to say than I thought. So thank you guys. Hope the sun is shining again. It's Friday, right? So hopefully the sun is shining where you guys are. Hopefully you have a great weekend. Wish us luck next Tuesday in Cade's next regional basketball game. He's a more of a cheerleader than anything right now, but oh my gosh, it's still so fun. So anyway, have a great weekend and I'll talk to you guys next Friday. Bye everybody.